Welcome. So today for our props, we'll begin seated. So you'll want that little blanket. And if you have a block, fantastic. If you have two blocks, even better. We'll do some symmet symmetry. So you'll have some blocks maybe for help there. But if you have one, you can always use it one. So have those handy. Um, we may or may not use a strap, so good to have on hand. And let's come to a seat briefly. We'll start moving around and feeling that center moving around. So anchor through your sits bones. So our balance in the beginning here will be on the sits bones, on the edge of a blanket, feeling the pelvis spill forward. Feel, take your hands and warm your hands feeling the warmth between them, that energy building up between the hands and take the palms to your lower back. Make sure that lower back is arched so that you're not feeling spilling too far forward, but just enough so that you're not pressing towards the back of the room. This is a healthy arch in the lower back. And then bring the palms to the thighs where we can do some breath practice feeling the thighs dropping towards the earth away from the body. In terms of seated, you can take whatever seat is comfortable for you, even if that's on a chair. Feel those sits bones, feel the rise of the crown of the head towards the sky. Feel the shoulders drop towards the earth. So we're aligning our torso to breathe more fully. Today's breath practice is highly just a natural witnessing practice and where we're finding balance. And if you'd like to close your eyes for that internal experience, feel free to do that. Notice the breath. First noticing the quality of the inhale through the nose, if you feel that coolness or warmth, whatever you feel, filling the lungs, belly, back of the ribs. And then notice the exhale. Notice the sensation of the exhale, that breeze created. And notice a release as well. Again, continue to notice the inhale and the exhale on your rotation of breath. Hopefully with each exhale, you're noticing a drop of grounding energy. And with each inhale, a sense of refreshing, renewal, giving more length to the spine. Bringing a new consciousness to the breath to this today, we'll start to focus on the pause. As you inhale, you'll notice that the breath crests at a pause. Really pay attention to that pause, to that poise of balance between the inhale and the exhale. And then exhale, and really bring your attention to the pause after the exhale, another point of balance, bringing it back in through an inhale. Check in with the rhythm of your breath as you come into conscious breathing. Bring a rhythm into your breath. Find your own rhythm. Generally having a longer exhale count than an inhale count. It's very helpful to bring a centering quality to the body and a pause at the inhale and exhale point and then the other pause after the exhale back to the inhale so really see if you can bring a rhythm that is comfortable for you into your breath without any dizziness or discomfort our breath will be not perfectly symmetrical 
really the imperfection model kind of today, looking at asymmetry and symmetry. So uh, evenness and unevenness together and the delicate balance in between with the poses that we take in yoga and the breath that we take as well. Inhale and then exhale and then flutter your eyes open. We're gonna transition right to standing so we can feel that balance through the bottoms of our feet. Come over to all fours or whatever way you'd like to come up to standing, pressing down through the hands, curling the toes under, bringing the knees off the mat, walking the hands towards the feet, feel your ribs on the thighs, noticing or shifting our, our balance. So bring, bring a consciousness into your feet to the full width of your feet and then the toes spread out, hang the head down if you'd like. Seeing the world upside down, feeling a release through your neck right away, keeping your knees bent. Inhale, notice the inhale taking an upward direction through the body and exhaling. It's keeping a downward direction now. Notice the crest of the breath. On your next inhale, bring the back up into a flat position, so horizontal as you breathe in. You can float up the back of the ribs, almost like a balloon behind your ribs, floating you up, take the fingertips to the mat. And then take your hands to the top of your thighs, feeling that hinge point, where we're gonna hinge from as we come to standing. Stand strong through those balances, balanced feet, inhale up, hinge at the hips, and keep the knees bent before you come up. Just keep those knees bent before you find your balance there and then press into the feet and straighten the legs, come to the middle of the mat. We're gonna stand in mountain and, and just become aware of the four corners of the feet as we come into balance. We have these wonderful uh, spread feet that we can rely on. So come to hip width apart with your feet, spread the toes, look down at your toes, notice if you can make a footprint in the sand that really distinguishes the toes from one another, spread out. And notice the lift of the arches. We're gonna to wanna to light up that energy in between the arches. Inhale the head up and just look forward, gaze neutral and relaxed. Filling the arms, draw up beside you. So bring your awareness into the feet. So we're gonna, Rely on the four corners of the feet. So that's the, uh, the big toe mound and the little toe mound, which often gets ignored. So let's try to press into that little toe mound to just see what that awareness brings to you and to the rest of the body. It can really ripple up the body when you try to press into that. And then we'll come to the back of the foot, the inner heel and the outer heel. So we've got a almost a square there, allowing some kind of awareness of symmetry as we press through the feet. So that is our base for our awareness of balance through the feet. Let's not lock the knees, but keep them a tiny micro bend. Feel that lightness enlighten the middle of the leg. So the inner thighs, just bringing that energy upward. Again, we have the pelvic tilt, so we can take the hands, warm them again, Place them on your lower back and just notice that arch in the lower back, You're not totally pointing the tailbone down, You're allowing that slight tilt in the lower back. And then you feel the tailbone pointing down as well. So there's a toning through the navel, right? So we're keeping that strong base. Squeeze the glutes. You take your hands to the sides of the glutes. And just feel that engagement about 20, 25% of the extreme, right? And so now you feel even stronger. Let's go up the tower, drop the arms beside you, take the palms forward, receiving, and then take the thumbs forward and just leave the shoulders open. Even though you take the thumbs, sorry, take the thumbs forward and the palms next to the body. And then lower ribs tucked in, traveling up our tower. Let's come to the chest nice and open 
And that is another center point, right? Is our heart. So we've got that center shining forward and then up the spine to the neck or we'll drop the shoulders away from the ears. All the while, again, not locking the knees. So your awareness can travel all over the body when you're balancing. And just kind of noticing this very subtle dance that happens as you take that balance point and stand in mountain, close the eyes. As you close the eyes, notice subtle movements of the body back and forth or around. It, it's very micro, but it's happening. And notice that you're keeping that stability. Your spine is rising up through the crown of the head, growing taller. Exhale, strength within. As you bring awareness into the spine, also imagine a, a line in front of the spine, so a column that's internal inside the body in, in front of the spine. So that you have this light inside rising up, enlightening that inner stability. And that's an axis point for us to move around. Flutter the eyes open, take the feet a little bit wider than hip width, and we'll take our hands to the hips. So we're gonna turn around on that axis we were just talking about. Let's take the hips in circles around to the right, to the front, to the left and the back. So as if you're just taking the inside of a barrel and your hips are along the inside. Exhale and inhale naturally. Coming back to that crest of the breath wave. Noticing the pause as you start moving around. Take a pause here, notice the pause, and then we'll take our turn around the axis again. And this is going to change the shape of each way will change. Today is really also about just accepting that unevenness in our attempt to be in that perfect symmetry, like Da Vinci's uh, drawing of this human figure at around a, a geometry, a geometrical shape, we're still trying to accept the fact that we're just asymmetry, asymmetrical like trees and other beautiful natural things. Come back to our neutral spine and then we're gonna take a travel with the ribs. So take the rib, take the hands to the lower ribs. So you notice that and then take the ribs over to the right, forward, over to the side and back. This is definitely more subtle. Notice the ribs. And so they're turning on the axis, the ribs rather than the hips, isolating the hips. I mean, the ribs from the hips. Pause. Turn that circle around. Beautiful. And then come back to neutral, noticing your neutral spine. Bring the awareness to those anchored feet again. Inhale the arms up, reach up towards the sky. And we'll just spread my toes so you can see my hands. Don't do this, just stay in mountain. Take the palms and cross them. So we're gonna cross the arms and across like this and then take the palms together and then reach up. Now reach up through the sides of the body instead of through the just through the arms you're reaching up lengthening the side of the body and go side to side here sway side to side like a tree that we'll be imitating later. Inhale up exhale down. Come back up again and change the cross of your arms. Press the palms together, reach up, growing long through the spine and exhaling, leaning over, making that full arc with your fingertips so that you really get a length on the side bodies. The exhale brings you down. The inhale floats you up. Beautiful. Now release the hands, take the hands and clasp thing, fingertips and clasp them together, fingers, and then reach the palms up towards the sky if that allows, if that's, you can do that. And then reach up, reach up, really noticing 
an opening across the collarbones as you do this, because you're gonna drop the shoulders away from the ears, where they always wanna kind of be up there with our overthinking, let's keep them down, and then bring the clasped hands to the base of the skull, and just tuck that in at the base of the skull. Feel that support, elbows out. Notice where our center is again. The spinal column is our center here in the standing position, as well as that energy in front of the spine. Again, we're gonna turn on the axis. So take your hands and support the turn of your neck to the right. Over the right shoulder. Inhale through center, exhale, look over to the left. And back and forth, supporting the range of your neck with your arms. If your arms get tired, just plug in and roll them away from the ears. You can always take them down if that's hurting your shoulders or pinching or anything like that. You just freely move your neck, it's okay. Come back to look center. Guide your gaze as it goes up. So those hands are behind the head. So they're helping you look up just like you're trying to gaze at the stars, inhale. Noticing that spinal spine is arcing upward and then guide your chin down toward looking towards the heart. Maybe even seeing your toes peek out there. Come back up, supported, feeling a lift your palms. You can lift the head up. Let's take inhale up and exhale. Guide the ear, right ear toward right shoulder, elbows up. And then inhale up, we'll take left ear toward left shoulder to the other side. So we're supporting that length through the neck with those hands and then come back up, keeping ourselves nice and tall, release, shake out the arms, and then we'll take a twist. This is our Tai Chi twist. We're, we're like our orbit is around that axis. So let's inhale, tall, exhale, twist over to the right and the left, keeping this a dynamic twist. Your feet are your anchors, so it's kind of like you have sand in your feet keeping you anchored, but not locked. The knees are loose. And you might feel your hand tap your shoulder or the back of the ribs. That's okay. That's part of the touch therapy there with Tai Chi practices. And bring that to circles. Slow those circles down. And we'll take a twist. So we're gonna take the right arm over the front of the body and that's on the left hip and then we're going to take the left arm behind us and your left fingertips might peek out over the right hip <laughs> inhale grow tall exhale twist so allow those hands to travel a little bit around the body and look over your left shoulder exhale inhale back through center and switch your hands Glide them along the body, take the left hand towards the right hip, right hand towards the left hip, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist, look over your right shoulder. So notice, again, bring that awareness to our practice today of where our balance points are and they're gonna change throughout the practice. Let's switch the hands again, another twist to the left and switch over, twist to the right. And then something I didn't do up the top, let's do this elbows, the butterfly elbows. So there's nothing more beautiful in terms of symmetry than those butterfly wings, right? So let's bring some butterfly wing effect to our elbows. Take the hands again to the uh, back of the bottom of the skull and look up towards the sky as you open up the elbows and then look down at the floor as you bring the elbows together. So we're bringing that beautiful arch into the mid and upper back, looking up and then closing the elbows. So closing those butterfly wings, just like we're on a leaf. Inhale up, 
time, bring the elbows together. And unrounding, just giving more fluidity to that upper back. And then drop the hands. If you have a block nearby, grab that block, come to the bottom of your mat, and we'll take a whole other balance approach. So take the, the block up, <clears throat> sorry, squeeze the block between the thighs, just above the knees. And oops, <laughs> yeah, I lost my balance there. So take those feet hip width apart, nice spread footprints, squeeze the block between the thighs. So when you squeeze it pretty hard, you'll notice that the glutes fire up and you enlighten this area of the center of the body, right? So when you squeeze the block, you're noticing, oh, there's energy in between those legs coming up from the arches of the feet all the way up the body. And then that energy can just continue through the middle of the body to the crown of the head. Lit, just magic that you have all of this core and this column to hold you up, waiting for, you know, in the grocery line, the bank, wherever, um, standing outside buildings, which we're doing more of these days. So anytime you're standing, find your center, find that balance point. Inhale, exhale, you're nice and stable. Inhale the arms up above the head, and we're going to come into downward dog, squeezing the block. Exhale, swan dive, so bring the arms off to the side. You can keep the knees bent if you want. As you come down, find the floor with your fingertips. Changing our orientation here. So walk the hands out to the top of the mat, keeping that block squeezing between the thighs. Point forward with your index finger towards the top of the mat. And bend the knees, bring the ribs to the thighs again and bend the knees so you can um, curl those toes under. Just feel that reach of the spine. So now our balance point is the feet and the hands. Press through the feet, bring the shoulders away from the ears and bring that armpit energy towards the rib cage. Just keep the knees bent this time, then walk the hands towards the feet. So we're coming back to a forward bend keeping the knees bent. Now, remove the block and place it nearby where you'll have that available for another pose. All right, now we're in that forward bend with knees bent. Keep the head down and then walk those hands out. And now we're gonna take a forward, um, downward dog without the block, but imagining it between your thighs, keep the knees bent and just kind of fire up that energy of the center. Our base and our foundation in this balancing is through the hands and the feet. So let's pedal our feet, pedal the heels down one at a time, bringing that stretch into the hamstrings. At the same time as we've got the hands and the feet anchored, we're also got a midpoint, which is the hinging of the hips, right? So we're making this gorgeous geometrical shape just imagine by our um, Leonardo da Vinci and all that, his wonderful fascination with geometry in the body. So here we come up to our tiptoes on both feet and then see if you can bring those heels down towards the earth symmetrically. And reach long through the arms, relax your face and bring those arms next to the ears while you relax the neck, no strain. You can even look at your, your toes. That's okay to hang the head. Pressing long. I know this is a hold here. We're going to slide forward in the plank. So bring the body long. We're changing the weight shift here towards the arms. I want you to squeeze those armpits towards the rib cage. Bring your knees down if you want. So that's a little easier if you bring the knees down. Inhale, make the body long, exhale. Let's go back to downward dog just for a nice shift and noticing that shift. Inhale, long through the spine, exhale, come forward to plank, take the knees down if that's comfortable for you. And make sure you're long through the crown of the head to the sacrum. Inhale, exhale. And then we'll slide the hips back into child's pose. So slide the hips back towards the heels, bring the forehead down to the mat, 
keep the arms long, noticing that length across the body, or if there's any bothers in your shoulder, you can just take the arms fully next to your body and reaching towards your toes. But take the forehead down just for some release here. Inhale, exhale, sigh it out, release. Allow the earth to absorb any imbalances, any tension. Inhale and exhale. Reach the arms long towards the top of the mat. Feeling that reach, take the palms up towards the sky so we broaden the shoulders. And then take the palms down. Really press through the palms. Curl your tailbone under and we're going to curl up toward all fours. Curl up through cat to bring the back of the ribs up towards the sky. Another beautiful shape we're making here. What are the bases that we have here? Foundation is the shins and the hands. Inhale, exhale, come back to a neutral spine and then come into cow, lift the head up, tailbone up, arching upward. Again, the come back to a neutral spine for your inhale, noticing where we are here in space. We've got our hands down, the shins are the base. So it really helps you just orient yourself as we move through these poses. Your blocks or your block may be nearby. If you can bring that towards the front of the mat, we'll use those in a moment. So in our all fours, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna bring the right foot on the inside of the right hand. Inhale the knee towards the elbow and you can help your right foot up there if you want. Uh, feel free to cushion your back knee if that's comfortable for you. If that's more comfortable for you. We always want more comfortable, why not? Okay, and then take your hands around that front foot. So right now we're in that forward lunge. Make sure your right hip is not hiking up towards the sky, but rather plugging in and see if you can take your fingertips to the mat and pull back towards the back. I can already kind of see myself in the camera that I'm starting to round a little bit. So let's keep that crown of the head long and that energy long through the spine. Now we're gonna change our orientation here. See those blocks or block. If you can place that under your, your uh, face, you'll take your hands to those blocks and you can use that leverage pulling back slightly to stretch that right hip. Inhale, notice your front foot and your back shin. Magnetize them together to find your center. And then we're gonna move that center line over to the left. So you're gonna walk the blocks out over to your left. And you're gonna take your shin and follow the line. So the shin is gonna shift in a diagonal direction. Notice, bring your awareness to that right hip. We don't want any pinching. So if you feel any pain, come back towards the center. Right now we're in a flat back, holding on to those blocks and inhale, make the spine long through the crown of the head. We're gonna feel that opening in the right hip. Exhale, try to settle in there, allowing some glide through the right hip. Exhale, noticing the earth energy, just gravity doing its job. Great, and then come back. Let's walk the blocks back to the middle. And then we'll be in our easy lunge here. You can place the blocks in front of you. We'll use those again. And now take your arm, hands around the front foot, bring the front foot in slightly. We're gonna come into a, a lunge by curling the left toes under, long lunge, runner's lunge. And then you're gonna to tiptoe your left foot forward into a forward bend. So just stay in the forward bend here, head hangs down, knees bent. You can try to straighten your legs if you want to challenge those hamstrings or not. And we're going to take the right foot back now, lift the right foot up, stretch it back. And we're in a lunge here, a long lunge with the toes curled under and take the knee down. 
So let's come into that easy lunge that we were in on the other side. I'm gonna take that right shin as our anchor and our left foot forward. Find the energy between them and find your spinal column again. Let's find that light in front of the spine, keeping us nice and long. And awareness of that left hip, trying to lift up. See if you can plug that in as you bring the foot and the shin together, right? They, they'll bring you a little bit more into hip awareness. Take the blocks and put them in front of you. Like hold the energy. Take the um, take your left hand on the inside of the left foot and just pull back towards the back of the mat. Inhale long through the spine. Exhale, settle in. Now we're going to change that line. So take the blocks over to the side diagonally and follow that line with your shin. So you've got a nice lineup and an opening through your left hip. Again, any pain, come back towards the center. Don't want to go into too much flexion for your limitations. Inhale, long, exhale, settle in. Find the balanced breath, the tipping point between inhale and exhale. And then come back to the center, line up that shin. Nice job. And then take those blocks over to the side. And we're going to come into a, uh, a long lunge here again with the right toes curled under. Hands on the mat, or if you want to continue to use the blocks for balance, get long and then tiptoe yourself up forward with the right foot to a forward bend, and we'll do a standing sequence. Take the props to the side of the mat. Hang down. Hands to the hips. And then we'll do a chair on the way up because we want to get stronger. Inhale, get the back nice and long. Exhale, sit back in an imaginary chair, keeping your ribs on your thighs. Sweep the arms behind you and then sweep them next to the ears nice and long. Lift the ribs off the thighs and notice Navel toning towards the spine, knees behind the toes. Deep inhale here. We've changed our center. We've changed our balance kind of at a tipping point here as we sit back, right? So we're really teeter, kind of going between the front of the feet and the back of the feet. See if you can find the center. Squeeze the block, imaginary block. Press through the feet and then stand. Make it a slow ascent. Inhale, uh, exhale, drop the arms. Great. So through these balances that we're going to try will be kind of that foot uh, dance will be happening. So front of the foot, sides of the foot, keep those corners in awareness. Come to the back of the mat. Inhale, exhale, walk forward with your right foot. Take a nice even step forward. And then just walk forward and we'll inhale the left knee up into a right angle. So again, notice your hips. What symmetry can we find here as we change and shift to our right foot as our foundation? Where's that nice long column in front of the spine? Push the left foot out, straighten the left leg. Then bring it back and then Bring that left foot down, find the balance again, four corners of both feet. I'm gonna turn around to show you what I'm doing as I face the top of the mat. Inhale, the left foot up again. And now turn the left knee out as we come towards tree. You can take your foot and put it anywhere along the inside of your right leg that you'd like. Even, you can even kickstand it at the bottom. Find that column again. Now the four corners of the right foot are really important here. Press the energy between the left foot and the right leg together. The hips are gonna wanna kind of wobble and keep that 
stable through engaging the glutes. Inhale the arms up above your head. You can take them into prayer if you'd like to have a more centered experience of tree. Or if you want to take yourself off the center, I recommend that and just sway the arms and fall off your center. So if we look at a tree and we think perfect symmetry or we don't always think perfection, right? We think it's a perfect creation, but at the same time, it has branches going in all directions. And in the wind, it falls off its center sometimes. So it happens. Let's just echo nature and see what your tipping point is. Of course, keep yourself safe. You've got some soft furniture nearby or somewhere to hold on to. That's okay too. Hands to hips and just explore. Close one eye as you stay in tree. Keep that center awareness and close the other eye. Play with it. Keeping that center engaged. <sighs> Sweep the arms down to the hips and then just release that foot down to the floor. Left foot comes down, shake the legs out. Nice. And then we'll walk to the, oh, actually, no, stay at the top of the mat. <clears throat> We're going to take the left leg up again, left knee up, point the toe forward. Now we're drawing that imaginary line in the sand behind us all the way towards the back of the mat. Bend the front knee as you reach that foot back. So now we're changing that orientation again. We're coming into warrior one. So you want to plant that back foot at a 45 degree angle and the front toes are pointing towards the top of the mat. Now take the hands to the hips and notice your hip bones lighting the path forward in front of you. Inhale, point that tailbone down as the navel turns towards the spine. Inhale, the arms up above the head, next to the ears. Exhale, drop the pelvis in a clean line down towards the mat, and you might have to adjust your feet. And keeping those toes, middle two toes aligned with that front knee, feel that energy rising up. And as you exhale and crest that breath, feel pointing your tailbone towards the earth. So really connecting with the earth. On the inhale, connect with the sky. Taste the hands together, palms together. Look up, connect with that sky energy, inhaling. Exhaling, look forward and feel the tailbone pointing down. Four corners of the feet, bring that awareness. Magnetize them together. Sweep the arms in a T, so next to the body like wings. And then if you want to tiptoe the, the um, left toes forward, or you can just try to balance forward towards mountain pose, top of the mat. Bring the toes together, exhale. Bring the toes together. I mean, bring your feet and width with apart. Inhale. Exhale, walk yourself safely to the back of your mat and we'll do the other side. Strong corners of your feet. What's the geometry of the feet? Inhale, strong. Exhale, walk the left foot forward. Evenly, hips forward, come to mountain. And then inhale the left knee up, right angle. Check in with that hip balance. Left foot is a major player here, as well as your left glute. Press the right foot forward, straight leg, come back to center. Confident in your center. I'll turn around to show you. We're gonna take the right leg out, the right knee out at an angle, right hip turns out. Connect your right foot with your left leg. Keeping that tower nice and tall and even as possible. Here we are starting our tree. So again, kickstand your foot if you need to on the right side, but come into that center awareness and play with the arms. Prayer is fine. You can press into that center, pressing the palms together. Imperfect tree is our model here. So take the arms out like branches, interpret the shape of a tree. 
sway, fall out of it, falling trees. We have those. And just play here. See if you can close one eye and then the other, really changing that, again, the proprioception, our, our vision being so much a part of that balance too, keeping our eyes on our still points to find the center again. Beautiful, hands to hips, release your right foot down and shake the legs out back to our mountain, strong mountain pose. Left side comes into focus here as we lift the right knee up towards the sky, point the right foot out, and then trace that imaginary line in the sand behind you. Press that foot down, right foot down at an angle. Left toes point forward, inhale, hands on hips, notice hip bones, and then exhale, tailbone points you down and the pelvis comes down between those thighs. Again, awareness to the feet, the foundation. Keep the knee aligned with the toes. Inhale the arms next to the ears. Pressing through those four corners of each foot. Where's the little toe mound right now? See if you can press that little toe mound and kind of wake things up. The inner heel. Where's that? Wake it up. Exhale. Take the palms together above the head. Look up, inhale, connect with the sky. Exhale, look forward, connect with the earth. Sweep the arms out into a T like wingspan. And then we'll either tiptoe or just sweep forward on a challenge, leaning forward and up to our mountain. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. Again, safely walk to the back of your mat. <clears throat> and then we'll sweep up our arms and we'll try that same flow through uh, downward dog and plank that we did earlier and see if that feels a little longer this time. Inhale, the arms up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down into an imaginary body of beautiful water. If you want to bend the knees, that's good. Or if you want to just walk those hands out to the top of the mat, flow into a down dog. Head between the arms. Feel those hamstrings. You can pedal the legs again, just bringing this awareness into the hamstrings. And then see if you can bring them symmetrically down, evenly down to the mat. Get long through the spine, press through all the fingertips. You have big, nice toes and big thing, finger pads here that will keep us on a bigger foundation balance as we inhale forward into a plank. Curl the toes. Squeeze the glutes. Keep yourself in a plank shape so long and then exhale into down dog so we're gliding here just between plank and down dog find a brief pause with your breath in each pose exhale into dog forward to plank and you can always place the knees down you can always take child's pose if you're comfortable there time and then we'll bring our knees down one at a time slide the hips back to child if that's comfortable for you release down and we'll change our orientation again inhale up We'll take our sits bones down and we'll briefly take a very interesting pivot point here on our sits bones into practicing a little boat or a core. 
So keeping that core, all of those deep core muscles engaged is of course a part of keeping our relationship good with that inner core. Take the hands to the thought, back of the thighs, drop the shoulders away from the ears and find your sits bones again and find that arch in the lower back. So we're not caving in here. We're keeping a nice length through the spine and natural length through the spine and lift one foot off the mat, place that down and lift another foot off the mat. So we're doing a baby boat here. You can lift both feet off the mat if that's comfortable for you, but if you lose the integrity and the shape of your core, then you want to just take it down lower. Always the awareness here should be on that beautiful shape of the spine and the length of it. As you play with your sits bones as your anchor. Spread the toes. And then if you wanna take both feet down and release a hand and then another, again, let's not compromise the integrity of the spine. Take the hands to the thighs and we're gonna roll down towards the floor. So keep your hands on those thighs or if you wanna challenge, you can let go and then feel your breath as you go down, feel that resistance and then curl, snake the spine. You can begin to curl in towards the knees like a C curve there and come down, release, release, noticing conscious this as you come down of your spine. Back of the skull on the mat, take those feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart. And now because it's so kind of fun to play in yoga with our foundations and how they always shift, um, let's take the arms down beside the body and we're gonna take a bridge just to explore this cool shifting of our balance points. So again, let's come back to those feet. Here, just as in standing, we've got the four corners of the feet as our base. Connect to that base as you lift the hips up, curl the spine up towards the sky. So the hip bones are even. Take the arms and press them into the mat. See if you can bring the shoulder blades together. And you notice now the balancing point is the back of the shoulder blades and gently the back of the skull and the feet. What a strange combination, but what it does is it opens up the mid and upper back as we continue to press through the feet, keep the knees even and bring the sternum, the heart towards the chin, looking up at the sky pressing through the arms. Really cool because like, I don't know, we don't do this waiting in line anywhere. It's just really cool to do in yoga, bridge. Take the elbows to the mat, point the fingertips up towards the sky, and then reach up towards the sky with long arms connecting with that beautiful sky and exhale, take the arms next to the ears. Now we're nice and long. Press through the feet, coming back to that foundation, noticing the contact, the shoulder blades and the back of the skull. Exhale, reach the arms up, elbows down, snake yourself very consciously back down to the mat. Oh, so nice. If you have a block nearby, just take a Brief spa bridge here, lift the hips up and take the sacrum to the to this block. Settle here. So we've just done a, a lift through those hips. Let's see if we can take that nice uh, relief to the hips by raising them up on the block. Take the arms next to the body. Notice as you lift those hips, it's easier to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then just give a nice little spa experience to your lower back. It doesn't have to work so hard. Inhale, exhale, bring both feet off the mat and knees up towards the sky. 
and take those arms and use them as another anchor point. So the length of the arms and see if you can straighten out one leg and then the other. So we're coming into a supported shoulder stand. Again, changing up our balance points. This is the sacrum on the block, back of the shoulders, and the back of the skull gently on the mat. Notice the shoulder, sorry, the hamstrings and point and flex the feet so we can communicate to the back of the leg. And then open the legs into a V shape and then back again. And just noticing these gentle balancing points we have because we want to balance as well on the back of the body. We don't want to forget the back of the body. It's all part of that shape, right? That beautiful shadow shape, just like the moon has its shadow side kind of our back body is a little bit of that for us. Inhale, those legs open and then closed. Bend the knees, bring the feet down to the earth. Feel that anchor. Lift the hips up off that block. Place the block to the side. Everything should feel released now. Inhale the knees to the chest. Squeeze and give a hug. And take a nice roll over onto your side. Take those knees. We're going to make a, a nice even pattern here. So speaking of geometry, let's bring a right angle to the thighs to the body, right angle of the shins to the thighs, and the arms are out at a right angle to the body too. Inhale, exhale, press the palms together. And we'll take a nice open book. So Nice, even pages of a book flipping open as we reach the right arm long up to the sky. Let's make an arc shape above us. So a rainbow above us. And then bring that long arm or take your hand to your rib. Here, that's more comfortable. Feel the ribs turn to your right in a beautiful twist. Look up at the sky. Allow the shoulders to melt towards the earth and look over your right hand. Keep those knees together. They're gonna to wanna to go uneven, keep them even. And then feel yourself twisting on that axis point again. We're totally in a different shape here. So see if you can find in your mind's eye that shape of the spine twisting. Press the left arm into the mat, lift up a little bit through your sternum, knees into the twist. Bring your awareness into the shape of the breath. That tipping point again, inhale and exhale, explore that pause. Weave that left, right arm up towards the sky. Make that nice, beautiful arc shape. And then keep your knees together. Bring them up towards the sky. Roll over onto your right side and make that shape on the other side. Knees together, palms. Keep the, the pelvis perpendicular right angle to the earth as well. Reach the left arm up towards the sky as you inhale, and then make that long stretch over to the left, or take the hand to your thigh, uh, sorry, hand to your rib cage. Settle. If you need help with getting more into the twist, you can press into your right arm lift up and then settle in. Look over your left fingertips.
check in with your knees if they're trying to separate, squeeze them together. Allow your exhale to soften the shoulders. Allow everything to squeeze out of tension, just let it go. Invite a new inhale as you reach the left arm up to the sky and bring the palms together. And ease yourself over onto your back. Or we'll take a little tour of the body, noticing if you've made a change of sensation in the body. Take the legs out long along the mat. And now achieve your evenness as much as you can here. Notice if your skull and your sacrum are aligned, you feel that spinal column nice and uh, connected from sacrum to skull. Take the arms out long next to the body, palms up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together to shimmy your shoulders underneath you. In your mind's eye, you can close the eyes if you wish and then notice the shape of your body. Notice the shape of your skeleton. And as you do this, also notice the sensations in the body. Take a tour from head to toe. <laughs> Maybe you feel a little more balanced from exploring all of these pivot points in our poses. Find the rhythm of your breath again. What is that comfort zone for you? On the inhale, pause, count. On the exhale, and the count of that pause before you inhale. Can you hear the sound of your breath? Does that breath lull you into relaxation? Can that inhale invite new energy into areas where you have lingering tension? And can the exhale release that tension? Continuing this even cycle of breath. Knowing that you can call up this beautiful balance Breath anytime you'd like. To bring yourself into a more centered place. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bend the knees and elbows and roll over onto your right side. Noticing that pause briefly before you help yourself up to a seated position. Let's bring the palms together in our seated position to remind ourselves of our stable center there to support us always. Thank you for joining me in the practice today. Namaste.